had ever seen. Okay, had ever seen is actually in the past. Okay, past participle, past perfect tense. So as you can, if you can actually see the sentence, she or he is referring to a past experience he had when he or she experienced seeing the biggest fish ever. Okay, <laughs> so do not forget to use the past tense of the verb. Okay, what else? Recounts are written in the order which they happened. This is called chronological order. Use adverbs such as firstly, next, then, and finally. Okay, do not forget to use them when you write a recount. Okay, in order for the, in order for the, uh, the reader, okay, in order for the reader to, to know, okay, to understand the flow of your experience, of the writer's experience, okay, basically, because this is going to be your recount, so it should be your own experience. Hi, Ola! Ola is joining us. Mergani. Okay. Two smart kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, do you have any question about the usage of... Hi, Ola! Why do you look so sad today? Oh, baby, why do you look so sad? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I like your I I like that ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> one day I can have that one too. Oh, oh wow, look, look at my hair. Now it's longer. <laughs> okay, I can have that one too later on. Okay, so Ola. Morgani will talk to you about a recount. Okay, so um, he will uh, give you a a very short summary about what a rec recount is and what are the features he learned when we had a discussion just just recently okay so Mergani are you ready yes yes okay can you tell can you tell Ola what does it mean a recount I would say it's they have yeah very good so it's a, simply retelling. Like, for example, if you want to retell what happened to you yesterday, what was your experience during the summer, okay? So that is what we call recount or retelling. Very good. Okay, so we discussed, Morgani and I discussed about the features in, in recount that we need to include when we write a recount. So what are those, Morgani? Can you still remember? It should have a very brief introduction. Yeah, answering how many WH questions? There you What's this? Who, what, where, and when questions. Okay, Ola? Okay, so when you write a recount, Ola, Ola, you need to remember to use the four. Okay, to answer the four, <laughs> the four introductory, um, uh, four questions to write an introductory paragraph for your recount, okay? And also, Morgani, what, because recount is telling us a past experience. What verb, what tense of the verb should we use? Is it in the past tense, present tense, or future tense? Past tense. Past tense. Yeah. I think Ola knew everything about recount writing. Of course, Ola already finished the homework back as well. <laughs> okay. Very good, guys. Very good, guys. So let's continue. So please do not forget to also use the time conjunctions, okay? Or what we call the adverbs of time. We need to write first. What happened next? What happened? Then what happened? And finally, what happened in the story? Okay. Also, Ola, Ola, can you please read for us this this part here, baby? Using descriptive words. First word is be and see like your reader is there with you. Very good. So what do we need? In order for us to describe the story or the retelling or the experience we have, we need to use descriptive words or describing words. What are describing words? Can you still remember? What is a 
What what are those describing words? What parts of speech? A noun, a pronoun, an adjective, or a verb? <laughs> I will really talk to Bisafa. She has to tell you about describing words. What are those describing words again? Those are adjectives. Yeah, hey, describing words are adjectives. For example, Allah has a very long hair. Allah has a very long hair. So which which word in this sentence is an adjective? Oh, long. Yay! Yeah, very good. Okay. Now I will um I will ask one more uh participation from any one of you. We will have one more sentence to to identify which one is a describing word from there. Okay. Like Mergani is a smart student. Mergani is a smart student. So which word in this sentence is an adjective? Smart. smart. <laughs> okay, very good. So smart is, um, yeah, describes the smart. Okay, word describes Mergani. The long describes Allah's hair. Okay, so it describes adjectives, describes a person, animal, place, or a thing. Okay? Okay. Guys, let's have the, this sentence. Can you read it for me? Who can read it for me? Ola or Morgani? The example. Okay. Ola, since Ola started late, you're gonna... <laughs> you're gonna read Ola, the fish. The fish is shiny and slippery. And slippery. Okay, now tell me, Morgani, tell me just one adjective from that sentence. It's shiny. Shiny, very good. Ola, one more, one more adjective from that sentence. Ola. Look for one yeah. more adjective from that sentence. Mergani said shiny. Slippery! Yay! Yeah, very good. Now you guys knew exactly what are adjectives for describing words, okay? Now the last one. Focus on the most exciting parts. Of course, we're not going to tell our um, readers about the bad experiences we had during the day. We need to tell them only all those good parts of the story, right? <laughs> okay, so when you fell down the ground, when you were playing at the playground, do not write it there, okay? Because it's, I think it's not a good thing for the reader to know, okay? So just tell your classmates or your readers that you had a very nice experience playing with your, your playmates at the playground, you pushed each other, and then you flew a kite up, up in the sky. That's some sort of like, okay? <laughs> okay. Now let's move on to the next. Very good. I think it's ev everything is clear now, right? Everything is clear now? Okay, guys, I wrote a recount. Okay, this is my recount. Do not copy my recount. You know exactly what were your experiences, okay? So this was my experience. That was very, this was a very long, long time ago experience, okay? So I just wrote it here as an example, okay? So this recount is about a trip to the zoo. I had a trip to the zoo. By the way, do you have a zoo here in Sudan? Do you know what a zoo is? Uh-huh. Okay, What what is a zoo? It is a place where you can find what? The animals, yay! <laughs> okay, I want to ask you guys, do you have a zoo in Sudan? Do you have? Yes. Really? What animals can you find in there? Do you have lions? Oh. Tigers? Do you have tigers? No? 
<laughs> okay, so when I was in Ghana, okay, when I visited Ghana, my, my, I brought with me my family in Ghana, and there was a very, very nice zoo, and that was a very beautiful one. It's like a safari, okay? Yeah. You visited the zoo, Morgani? Wow, so you can write something about it. Okay? And tell tell us about your experience. Okay. So this one is my experience. Okay, a trip to the zoo. Yesterday my family went to the zoo to see lots of different animals. First, we went to the small shop to buy food to give to the animals. It was the smelliest food ever. <laughs> okay. Next we went to the small shop to buy food to give to the animals. Okay, no, no. I, <laughs> Next, we went to the nocturnal house where we saw some birds and crawling reptiles and only came out, that only came out at night. Okay. The reptiles looked bigger than the birds. Then we went to the to the grayest elephants, they were stomping up and down in their enclosure or in their cage. Finally, we had a little bit of lunch before we started to make our way back home. What a fantastic day we had. Okay. It was a very nice weekend. Okay. That was a very nice experience. Okay, guys. Now tell me. What verbs are, uh, what kind of verbs am I using here? I used went, past, yeah, past tense of the verb. Another went here, what else? Was, okay, what else? Went, yeah, went, what else? Looked, okay, what else? Went again, went to see, yeah, very good. Saw, okay, you do see it? Saw, okay, what else? Had, okay. So those are in the past tense of the verb. And also, class, do not forget. I used verbs of time, okay, like yesterday, okay. First, next, what else? Then, and then, finally, okay? <laughs> yeah, just to, tell, just to tell the readers, this is the first thing that happened, next, then, and then finally, or the last, the last experience that I had when I was in the zoo. Okay, what else? Do not forget, do not forget, this is the most important one. Do not forget to use the first person pronouns like my, what else? We, okay? I, mine, or ours, okay? Okay, and guys, remember the four WH questions to include when you write a recount. What are those again? Who am I with? So in my, my, my recount, who am I with? I am with my family. Where it happened? Where it happened? Morgani, where my recount? Yeah, in, at, at the zoo. When it happened? When, when, when it happened? It says yesterday. Okay, and what's the last one? What happened? What happened in the zoo? So you can actually tell these are the things that happened to me and my family at the zoo. So we went to the small shop, we went to the tornal house, we saw some birds, and we ate, okay, before going back home, okay? Now everything is clear. I think everything is just so easy. Easy weasy, tiny peasy, right? <laughs> okay. <sighs> I will miss you. All of you, because this is going to be our last class. Oh, who, who came late? Who is this boy? Oh, who came late? Who is this? I can't, I can't, I can't see. Oh.
Who is? <laughs> is this your classmate? No, this is 3A. <laughs> this is 3A. We're going to be having uh, a class 3A. Oh my god, 3A is barging in another <laughs> another person's classes. Okay. Now guys, do you have a question before we end up our class? Do you have a question? No. Okay. No. For those who are able to complete their task ahead of time, if I'm going to see you again, I will give you this in a certificate of appreciation for all those kids who were able to finish their homework packs ahead of time okay okay so you will be um, I will send you certificates of appreciation okay later on later on okay okay so do you have any questions before we end up our class Ola no questions no questions? Everything is clear? Okay, let's have a very short warm-up. Just warm up before we end our class. Okay, so when, uh, when are you, when are you going to be pointing your nose? It means this is your eyes. So nose is, nose is going to be the eyes. Eyes is going to be the nose. Mouth is going to be the ears. Ears is going to be the mouth. Got me? So this is a test of your agility. Morgani. Show your camera. <laughs> Show me your face. Open your camera. <laughs> so you can start you can join join with Ola. We're we're gonna have, be having a very short game. Okay. So this is a competition between you and Ola. Whoever wins will have a chocolate treat. Okay? <laughs> Ready guys? Ready? Okay, when I tell when I tell you, show me. Remember. When I tell you, show me your, okay, show me your nose, you need to show, to point your eyes. When I say, show me your nose, eyes. When I say, show me your eyes, you point your nose instead, okay? Okay? And when, you, when I say point to your mouth, you need to point not your mouth, but your ears, okay? Ready? <laughs> Ready? Set, go, point to your nose, point to your nose, <laughs> point to your nose, very good, two points, both for Mergani and Ola, okay, point to your ears, point to your ears, point to your ears, <laughs> very good, Mergani and Ola, two points for each one, point to your eyes, point to your eyes, I can see. Yay! Okay, you guys, you both won. Okay, so I'll be giving you chocolate treats. Congratulations, Regani and Ola. <laughs> okay, that was a great one. That was a great one. Okay, I will see you. I will see you hopefully when the school opens again. I love you guys. I will miss you all. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Love you guys. Love you all. I love you, Morgani. Bye bye, babies. Bye. Please complete your homework packs, okay? Bye bye. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>